Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is a church community project teasers and today we're going to talk about a gaming club. Now, the growing trend of people using games consoles, I mean it's not that uh, much of a trend or a fad these days, we're probably talking about a whole generation of 40 years that have been playing these games consoles maybe since the 1980s with the Nintendo, the Sega and all these consoles that have come uh, in the meantime. The um, Xboxes, the uh, Sony Playstations etc that have all gone on to new generations. So you could get some of these consoles and maybe you could procure some of the older consoles older games if people have got them in their lofts in their garages etc gathering dust you could go to the church community and find who has some and with some sofas and some tv screens set up you could actually get gaming communities come in and utilize that space whether they be retro vintage gaming or modern groups that are coming and trading computer games that are hot off the press, expensive games that they've completed and they can trade. Again, it's just a chance to bring a community together and then link them into what is going on in the church to experience the gospel firsthand of Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. But the gaming club lots of offshoots to that you could bring the gaming club in to a sofa area that's safe warm and they can game you've also got gaming that can go on remotely and you can bring people in and then you could actually speak to them over zoom over other uh, technological advances where you can connect with people even remotely now and this youtube ministry channel is starting to go further and further and further and reach more people. Reaching people with the gospel remotely, electronically, and then uh, pointing them to their local Bible believing churches and journeying with them that way is also an option. But gamers coming together and uh, consolidating and creating a uh, platform, a network and a group. Now, let me mention Pokemon. I'm not sure if uh, you're watching this video and you remember Pokemon. Pokemon was something that was certainly uh, beyond my uh, beyond my years. I was uh, I'd grown up and I didn't really associate with Pokemon. But there was a phenomenon called Pokemon Go, and all the youth of the time and gamers were capturing a photo or something of that ilk of a Pokemon Go and they were traveling all over the country, all over the United Kingdom to capture these Pokemons in specific geographical electronical sites. So uh, somewhere, you know, your local shopping precinct may have been registered as a Pokemon Go. Someone would go and capture that Pokemon a car park facility, a multi-storey might be locked as a Pokemon Go. People would travel and capture it. The idea was we were going to register as a Pokemon Go site and bring all these individuals in and then drip feed the gospel to them. That was a project that didn't sadly take off in time and we didn't get round to making a Pokemon Go spot. But all the avenues went out, all the paperwork and all the form filling exercise was completed and we were on the cusp, but we needed the church council's permission. And that was where it fell foul. And we had the opportunity from what I saw at Pokemon Go sites, the opportunity for a footfall of individuals to come into an open space a church ground that was a church garden, uh, greened over so it was very uh, safe, very visible and very open plan. We weren't talking about bringing them into the dark recesses of a uh, church building or even, you know, around the back of anywhere. It was very much 
a green open space within a housing community all around where the church was nestled next door to it. An opportunity uh, arose, an opportunity in that case wasted, but just another opportunity where you can think outside the box, think of these new trends, new fads that would draw people to the site of the church, perhaps draw them over the threshold of the church if you've got the volunteers and the safeguarding into place and nurture and present the gospel to those individuals. Just a thought. If you'd like to know more details, do contact us through the About section of this channel and do feel free to share this video widely, to comment and to like. God bless you all.